Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can change your boring old PSN network icon here to pretty much whatever image you want. For this, obviously you'll need to have a modded PS3. And the method that I'm gonna show you today is actually kind of a older method. There is a newer tool, for example, called RCO Mage Mod, which is a little bit more up to date, but the problem with that is I'm not using that one because there are many more files in it. And when I started scanning the files, I kept getting like virus warnings. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna use that one, at least not right now for this tutorial. This one has far less files. There's just a little bit more work that you have to do, but it's easy and everything came out squeaky clean. So yeah, we'll go ahead and use this method at least for now. All right, so I went ahead and did this little like cheat sheet here. We'll cover it really quick. First, again, this is only for modded PS3s. It does work whether you have custom firmware or HEN. This is not going to show you how to jailbreak or mod your PS3. It's already assumed that you have done that and that you know your way around a modded system. Next, we will have to access your dev flash. This can be done uh, various different ways. I actually made a video showing you how to access your dev flash through many different methods. So I'm assuming that you already know how to do that and or that you've watched that video to access the dev flash. We can go through the dev blind folder or we can go through the dev rebug folder like the way I showed you how to do in that video. Those of you who have hen, you will notice you have a dev rewrite folder on the root of your PS3. Dev rewrite is the exact same thing as dev blind. So you can go through that folder. Next, you will need a PC and you will need to have some type of image editing, image creation tool. We're gonna need RCO Mage version 1.1.1. And for this particular icon, you need to make sure that it's in PNG format and it needs to be 128 by 128 in size. So we'll explain more about all this stuff as we go along. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first you're going to need to get the RCO Mage version 1.1.1 here from PS3 Virology. I'll leave the link down in the description. Just come here and click on the download file. Once you have done that, then in that folder you will see, or in the zip file, you will see a folder called RCO Mage 111. Go ahead and just extract that folder to your desktop like I've done here. All right, so now we have to get the file that we need out of the PS3. I'm going to use FTP. I already have it open. You can see my dev blind folder. Again, you will use whatever method you want to get to your dev flash. Those who have hen, you should see a dev rewrite folder here and you can go through that folder. So once you've obtained your folder, go into it. I'm going to use again my dev blind. Now we need to find the VSH menu then go into resources. We're going to scroll all the way down to the very end and we are going to grab the XMB underscore plugin underscore normal dot RCO. Now that's what I'm using for this particular tutorial. Technically, you can pretty much do this with any image dot RCO file you want, but we're going to choose this one for now, the PSN logo. So let's drag this over to my desktop. Just give it a second. And there we go. Okay, so there it is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and close my FTP for now. And as a reminder, even though I use FTP, you can use a file manager, grab the file, copy it to a USB, and then bring your USB over to your PC. Again, whatever is convenient for you. So let me go ahead and close this because we're not gonna be using this for a little bit. So let me shut that down. Now open up your RCO Mage 111 folder that we got from our zip. That RCO file that we just got from our PS3, let's go ahead and copy that and let's paste it to this folder here, the RCO Mage folder. And now that we have that there, what we are going to do is we are going to run RCO Mage GUI dot exe you might have to run it as administrator make sure the dump tab is selected go to rco input click on browse 
and then the RCO file that we just copied should show up here, okay? What you want to do too, as a way of uh, like save you some time as a little shortcut, go ahead and hit rename. It will highlight the name and just hit copy. You don't need to copy the .rco part, just the name of the file, okay? So once you've copied the name, go ahead and highlight the file, click open. Now come here to the XML output uh, box, go to browse. Here you're going to paste the name you just copied. In this case, it's XMB underscore plugin underscore normal. Again, you don't need to put the .rco or any extension, then hit save the third box will be automatically populated. Now you're gonna come here to these boxes, make sure they are all unchecked, except this one. The separate resources types should be checked. Now hit dump. Okay, it will say RCO successfully dump, click okay. Now we can close this and you will see a couple of things here, the uh, XML populated along with a couple of other folders. All right, and now after we've done that, let's go into the images folder, which was just newly created. We're gonna look for a file here called text underscore PSN dot GIM, which happens to be the last one right here. So let's go ahead and copy it. Now we're gonna go back, and here we are going to go into the GIM CONV folder and we're gonna paste it right there, okay? Now that we've pasted it there, you need to make sure you run this here, the um, gimconv.exe file. You might have to, again, run this one as administrator. Once you have this window here, you could just type enter or hit any key. It'll disappear there. And now what we are going to do is open up a command prompt here in this folder. You can hold down the shift key while you're holding it down, press the right uh, button on your mouse and then hit open command window here. I think you might be able to do this with PowerShell too, but I'm not too sure. You can also just come up here Okay, when you click up here, it shows you the location of this folder we're in. Just delete everything, type CMD and press enter, and it also opens up the window. So you can do it that way as well. Now that the command prompt is open, you need to type this in here. I'll put it down in the description. So make sure you just copy and paste it exactly the way it is. Okay, let's go ahead and paste it there. And all we need to do is press enter. Okay, so it's pressed, uh, we pressed enter. It said there it created the uh, text PSN uh, dot PNG. So let's go ahead and press X. Okay, and there we go. There's the PNG file and there's the little PSN ball. Now at this point, you can do whatever you want with this PNG. You can edit it, you can put another image on there. The PNG is 128 by 128, as I mentioned before. You can put an image that takes up the whole entire square, or it can be partially transparent, however it is you want. So for today, I'm going to use my um, KM Zoilus logo to replace this one. All right, so I have my KM Zoilus logo here. I'm gonna open it up. It is in the PNG format. It's 128 by 128. You should only be able to see the logo when it goes into the PS3. The background, the rest of the background is transparent, but in this viewer, transparent backgrounds show as black. All right, so let me go ahead and close that. I'm going to bring the new uh, PNG file that I created here, and it's just going to replace the one we got here from the uh, PS3. So this tex underscore psn dot png file, we are going to get rid of it. And now your new image, we'll go ahead and rename it and just call it that. So tex underscore psn dot png, the png is already there. Right, and there we go, there's our new icon. So now it's time to go ahead and convert it so we can then put it back into the PS3. Okay, so now what we need to do is open up the command window once again here in this folder, do it the same way you previously did it. 
Okay, I'm going to open it up again. And now what we need to do is we need to type all this in. Again, don't worry, I'll put it in the description. All you need to do is just copy and paste it. So let's copy it, let's paste it here, and then just press enter. And once we press enter, you'll see uh, the confirmation here. It might give you a warning illegal image order one. If it does, don't worry about it. Okay, so once it's done that, let's go ahead and hit X to close this. Okay, and it should have created this text underscore PSN dot GIM. Now it was already there, but it should have just overwritten it. And you can see here it has a more current time on it. So that's what we want. So now we're gonna take this one that it just created and hit copy, okay? We're gonna go back out here. We're gonna go back into the images folder and we are going to paste it here and we're gonna overwrite the one that's already there. Okay, and now that part is done. Now let's go ahead and go back. Okay, when we're here, we are going to start up uh, RCO image GUI.exe again run it as administrator and now we need to pick the compile tab then come here to XML input click on browse and you are going to select this XML file that we had created earlier and just click on open when you go to RCO output click on browse and then click on the RCO image that we put into this folder earlier. Hit save. It's going to ask you, do you want to replace it? Hit yes. Okay. Now when you're here, make sure you pick Zlib, the middle one, and make sure the middle one is picked down here, even though it's darkened out. If it's not selected, click on the box, select it, and then uncheck the box, right? So now that it's Zlib here and Zlib there, hit compile. It'll say RCO successfully compiled, click OK. Let's close this, okay? And now our RCO is updated with our new image. So now this XMB plugin normal RCO has our new image in it. And all we need to do is put it back into the PS3 where we got it from. All right, so I went ahead and booted up my PS3 again. I already have connected uh, via FTP. So let me open up my FTP. Let me show you the PS3. It still has um, the regular PSN logo there. So now that I have my FTP open, I'm going back into that dev blind folder. Then we go into VSH resources. And then at the end, at the very bottom is where the file is. Okay, we're just gonna copy and paste it or just drag and drop it. Okay, there we go. So we should now be good to go, all right? So now let's minimize that, minimize this. Now, in order for you to see the changes, you may have to do a full reboot of your PS3. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now that my PS3 is booted up again, let's go ahead and go in and let's see how that uh, new little icon looks. And I can already see the change and there we go. So it looks pretty good. The only thing I actually have to do is maybe make it a little bit smaller because the PlayStation uh, network text is kind of blocking the bottom of it. So what I need to do is within that 128 by 128 box, when I paste my logo into it, I just have to make my logo a little bit smaller within the box and then slide it up a bit so that when it displays, um, it doesn't interfere with the text down here. So just a minor adjustment. But anyway, I hope this helped you out. And if you found it informative in any way or useful, make sure you hit that like button guys because that is the best way to show support for the channel or you can do that if you just want to throw some love or appreciation you know i appreciate you guys watching much love going out there to everyone be careful be safe but have fun and we will see you on the next one